The Lagos State Government has released its white paper on the report submitted to it by the NSAS Judicial Panel of Inquiry that probed the Lekki Target incident of October 28, 2020. The state governor, Papajide Sonwolu, earlier on Tuesday during a press conference promised that the white paper will be released later on Tuesday. However, the governor dismissed the panel's report that nine persons were killed at the target when soldiers and the police shot at peaceful protesters. Sonwolu described the conclusion of the panel that nine persons were shot dead as assumption and speculations. Tracking the lies, how President Muhammad Buhari led Nigerian government denied like it target massacre of flag waving peaceful answers protesters. During a press conference earlier on Tuesday at the government house, Sonwolu had said it was a great sense of responsibility that I address you today on the reactions that have tried the release of the Lagos Hensas Panel's report submitted to me about two weeks ago and now it has played out in public discourse since then. We owe it to you, the people of Lagos, to constantly speak and encourage with you and, you know, in easy times, pardon, we will never shy away from making our case while also ensuring that we're listening to you. We as an administration are determined that the next step that will be taken in the process of coming to terms with the effects of October 2020 must bring closure to a painful episode of that is episode pardon in the history of our state with the release of the white paper later today. This in my view is a moment that beckons on us to define who and what we are to be a center of excellence. We must be a center of truth to be a prosperous city. We must establish ourselves as a peaceful entity and to achieve the greater Lagos of our dreams. We must learn to live in harmony. Two months ago, the panel submitted the report to the Lagos state government in which it clearly found that the Nigerian army and police fired live bullets at peaceful protesters at the Lekki target last year. It was concluded that the deliberate absence of officers of the Nigerian army who were present at the Lekki target and were summoned by the panel was a calculated attempt to conceal materials that is the material evidence from the panel. The panel was inaugurated on October 19, 2020 to look into complaints of citizens against human rights abuses by the police. Following the incident at the Lekki Target on October 20, 2020, the terms of reference of the panel was expanded to cover that incident. The panel sat for well over one year to took testimonies of petitioners, witnesses, experts, and lawyers. The panel sat for well over one year and took testimonies from different petitioners, witnesses, experts, and even lawyers. The submission of the panel that there was indeed a massacre has since attracted the outrage of Nigerians and the international community who called for the prosecution of the offending officers. What is your thoughts to this?
What is your reaction to the spring development? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section according to the news. The Lagos State Government has released its white paper on the report submitted to it by the NSAS Judicial Panel of Inquiry that probed the Lake Target incident on October 28, 2020. What is your thoughts to this? The state governor, Papajidi Sonwolu, earlier on Tuesday during a press conference promised that the white paper would be released earlier today. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the pre institution of things in Nigeria. Shola only when they reacted to this and said, Sonwolu has failed this generation and his name will never be forgotten in the history of Lagos, no matter how he tries to clean the blood of the innocent guys killed. The stain of their blood will remain permanent on his hands. What is your thoughts to this? As we can see, the governor of Lagos has been denying the massacre that happened in Lagos, saying that nothing like that has happened and he dismisses the killing of the nine protesters. And now people are against what you know Babaji Desonwolu have said, saying that he has really failed this generation and his name will never be forgotten in the history of Lagos. No matter how try or hard pardon he might try to claim the blood of the innocent guys he killed, you know, that were killed, pardon. The stain of their blood will remain permanent on his hands. What is your thoughts to this? It is now obvious to us that all these our political leaders are all working to suit President Muhammad Buhari and his killer regime. Why is all of them working towards you know his choice? Why not you know work in accordance to the will of the people that voted you in? Why not work in their respect? Why are you always working towards appealing or appeasing your you know slave masters according to what people are saying? We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. This is the same country we want to, you know, achieve tangible things. This is the same country that wants to progress without, you know, you know, justice. A country that wants to have peace without justice. How do you think that will be possible? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. We would like you to share it with us by the comment section. Don't forget that recently the Lagos panel report has released, you know, the report about the massacre that happened on the NSAS protesters confirming that nine people were you know shot dead by the nigerian soldiers using live bullets now the lagos has releases you know white paper on the NSAS panel report and dismisses the killing of the nine protesters of which were confirmed dead and now the governor of lagos is, is denying the killing of these nine protesters we would like you to let us know your thoughts to this that has been said. Like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have no words. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.